Hey everybody, this is Naturally Nita. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm so glad to have you here. What we are going to talk about today is pre-pooing the hair. I have a pre-poo here I am going to review and demo as we talk about um, actually what pre-pooing is and its purpose and the role it plays in the maintenance of natural hair. So again, the one I'm going to be reviewing is the main choice. This is their Heavenly Halo herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep hydration pre-poo. It looks like this. I know we hear about pre-pooing all the time. So many gurus talk about pre-pooing and almost every single uh, person comes back on their channel and say, what is pre-pooing? Because somebody has asked that question so they come back to answer that. So I am gonna tell you exactly what this says because it explains it better than anything else. Pre-pooing means to pre-shampoo your hair. Pre meaning before. So this is a process that you do before you actually wash your hair. Detangle your hair so that you can minimize breakage and preserve moisture. It protects your hair from the cleansing manipulation because you know when you're washing your hair, your hair goes through a lot of friction. If your hair is dry, if it's not healthy, that will cause a lot of breakage in your hair. This helps to smooth cuticles to minimize tears. It drenches dry, thirsty hair with intense hydration, restores hydration levels in, de in dehydrated hair. It improves your hair appearance and manageability, and it helps to reduce tangling and minimize shedding. So we are going to put this to the test today. I am going to follow the instructions, which says to before cleansing with the Heavenly Halo Deep hydration shampoo. Massage gently into dry hair and distribute evenly, especially to the ends. Wait five minutes, then use the fingers to gently loosen the tangles. It says to leave it in up to 15 minutes and then rinse well with lukewarm water. The only part of those directions I'm not going to follow is, it is late at night. I am going to leave this pre-poo in overnight. My hair is dry. It is thick. I am coming off of a five, six day, uh, this is day five of a wash and go. And so I am going to um, give this pre-poo time to work by letting it sit in my hair all night. I've already divided my hair into my typical six sessions, sections. I have two in the back. I have one here in the center and then three across the top. I separate my crown here in its own section because this part of my hair is actually 4C. It is dry, it has no curl, it is jam-packed and so thick. Um, it started breaking off at a rate higher than the rest of my hair. So what I decided to do to minimize breakage, and I actually got this tip from Kinky Tresses because she talked about having the same issue and I realized that's what's happening to my hair. And so to minimize the breakage, I give it its own little section because believe it or not, I have to do something totally different to this section than the rest of my hair. But anyway, so here's the pre-poo. I am going to open it up and squeeze some into my hand. It is nice and thick and creamy. I'm sure I've got way too much in the palm of my hands here, but I err on the side of too much than too little. I am slowly going to rake this into my hands and rub it through my hair using the praying hands method, being sure to get it on the ends. I like to use my fingers as claws and really get down into the root of the hair. Sometimes that is a part of the hair we neglect when we're trying to maintain our strands. Your roots also is a part of that hair. We have to be sure to tackle the entire length of the hair. This is really creamy. It feels really, really good going in. Um, as I am detangling and pulling apart, I am going to catch any shedded hair and I can feel some coming off in my hands. But I'm not gonna do too much because the direction said to actually let it sit in the hair for 15 minutes and let it do its magic while, um, while you wait. So I am going to just put this into a twist, go on to the next section, and I'm gonna actually come here to the one in the front so you can see. This is so creamy, y'all, and it smells divine. 
take it and I'm going to rub it into the front of my hair. And it practically disappears into the hair. It is really creamy and it's going in well. But you know what I found? That if you do this process, adding just a little water. Now this product has enough slip on its own, but I find that when I add just a little water, it helps the product to spread. And when it spreads easily, we can use less product. Working to the ends first, using my fingers, clawing through the hair. I'm gonna go back in for a little more. I do have some shedded hairs that are coming out on my hand here, as you can see. I don't like to neglect any part of this. I am heavy handed. And again, I have products. I would rather take my time and err on the side of doing too much than too little. Now this is not always good, depending on what you're doing, but pre-pooing, it can handle it. And if I'm looking off, it's because I have a mirror right next to my camera and I can see it just a little bit better. So excuse me for that. I'm gonna take this session, twist it up. And because I'm gonna slip in this over, overnight, what I'm going to do is twist it up. Put it in a loose bantu knot. Take a bobby pin and pin that down. So I'm going to do this to all six sections of my hair and I will come back and let you see what it looks like when we're all done. I'll be back. Okay, I'm all done. I've got all six of these session, sections all sectioned off, pre-pooed, plenty of moisture in there. I also gathered a little oil. This is a good time to oil your scalp. If your scalp is dry and itchy, it also is a good time to take some oil, the oil of your choice, and rub it in between those parts down in your hair and give it a good um, scalp rub and here it is and i can already tell that this is moisturizing and that it's going to be very moisturizing when i wash it out because the product already is almost absorbed into my hair where you can't see it it's already very soft feels very moisturized and even with my being heavy-handed the product is already absorbing so i am going to Put a shower cap on top of here. I will put a bonnet on top of this and likely another head scarf to make sure none of this leaks out on my pillow. And I will be back tomorrow so we can review how this product does and how this hair turns out. See you hey guys. So I am back and it is the next morning. I have rinsed out this main choice heavenly halo pre-poo and here's my hair honestly it feels a little rough to me a little rough to the touch um i have used other pre-poos that have done a much better job and honestly they were a lot cheaper if this had been the only first one I'd ever used, I probably wouldn't know any better, but because I've used so many other pre-poos that have done a much better job. You know those ones that make the best pre-poos are the ones that have marshmallow root or fenugreek or uh, slippery elm, those that have those ingredients in within the first five ingredients. They make the hair so slippery so the product goes on and it just slides through your hair like you almost have a hard time because it slides down your hand but you can take it run it through your hand and within your hair and literally within seconds pull your fingers through your hair um they make your hair soft they make it moisturized and um i probably wouldn't buy this particular one anymore i have african prize pre-poo I have used um, Motions. They have a 
pre-wash detangling butter that I've also used to detangle and pre-poo with. And for Black Friday, I actually ordered one from Nature's Little Secret called Fenugreek pre-wash detangling treatment or something like that. But it's their Fenugreek, I don't have it here with me, their Fenugreek um, detangling pre-poo. And it is excellent as well. Um, they all come in a bigger container or at least the same, because this one is eight ounces. And you get, um, you can buy two, three of those for the price of this one. So I probably won't buy this one anymore. But tell me what I did wrong if you've had a good experience with it. I know the one thing that I did do was I slept in it overnight. And I believe the instructions called for you to uh, leave it in up to 15 minutes. And I've had it in for seven, eight hours or so. Maybe that was too long. Um, should I try it again and just do the 15 minutes? Tell me what your results were and what um, kind of experience you have had with it. So anyway, I am going to proceed with styling my hair. And again, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like me to try other detanglers and give you the reviews on those, I have plenty others I can review. Um, comment down below if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions. I'll be glad to hear from you. Otherwise, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.